Aki watu ya diaspora. Aki si mungu wabariki. Nime amuka tu asupui tu. Nikaosha uso nikasema. Kapla nifanya kitu yote ni washukuru tu. Ni wambia asandeni aki kwa pesa li muna kumna tutumianga. Ata kama tuse mingi asandi. Unajua si tunajuanga. Mkitumia kama 100,000. Tunajuanga mmebakisha kitu kama milioni mbili kwa account. Aki pesa ampati kwa uraisi. Ya si tunadanianga tu. Una amuka tu. Muna enda. Muna dollars. Sinaingia ma euros. Ndiyo unawana si na makosa yetu ni vile tunajuanga mtu akisha tupanda ndege ameruka huko. Sasa mambo yake future yake imekuwa bright kabisa. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Inis Opuya. Nimekutana na hii clip kwa Facebook. Ikaniguza junajua kwamba we have a lot of people who are going through the same. Cuz uh, not only people who are working in uh, outside the country but hata watu ambao wanafanya kazi Kenya I don't know why it happens like that umefanya kazi umejinyima you have not done anything you've not even appreciated your, yourself then unachukua dozo zote unatumia wale watu ambao unapenda wale ambao watu ambao unajali then after those people receiving that money they don't appreciate instead after two or three days mtu anakuja kuambia oh pesa nyu litumwa hey, kutosha we need more money mtu akikupigia simu haizi kujulia hali hajui umelala aje hajui umeamka aje hajui kama ni mzima hajui ni nini ambacho unapitia hajui kama uko poa ama kuna kitu ambacho kinakusumbua kina hajui kazi iko namna gani yani they just think that everything is soft and uh, kwa sababu ya wao kutojali imefanya hata watu ambao wana, watu ambao wamejisacrifice kwenda kufanya kazi wamefika mahali wamechoka kuna wale ambao hawaongei and they are fallen to depression so kumbe this is what is in the mind of the people back home the time ambapo unawatumia do they just think that yani kuna bado kuna ile pesa nyingine mob enye umeweka Guys let me tell you the truth. This is a sacrifice ambayo mtu anafanya kutoka ndani yake. Ya kwamba let me travel to these countries to work ndio niweze kukimu family yangu nyumbani. First of all you don't know how this person is surviving. Watu ambao wanafanya kazi golf wanafanya kazi ambao ni ngumu. They are working overtime. Yaani has in maisha yao ni bidamka ni kazi 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 baka atatoka kwa kazi aende alale tena aamukie kazi they don't have time to rest na wewe hautaki hata kujua the yani hazin huyu unani huyu mtu ambaye ameji sacrifice kwenda kufanya kazi kazi ya yapi guys let's learn to appreciate these people wacha tu wasiwapatie burden ama wafeel ni kama yani tumofanya mpaka wamefeel ni kama slaves in their own life yani ile sacrifice yenyewe ni make ni kama ime turn to slavery na the, the way we are treating them imefanya mpaka hata wengine wamekuwa chizi kwa sababu mtu akika pale kazini akiimagine kazi iko hapo Stre, okay stress ya kazi iko hapo stress ya mdozo wake iko hapa alafu sasa apate stress ya familia yake this person can easily go crazy it is better akwe na ile stress ya kazi akwe na stress ya mdozi lakini apate huruma ama apate makaribisho ama apate furaha kwa familia yake because once anapata ile furaha kwa familia yake huyu mtu atajua kwamba at the end of the day i have those people who value me people who appreciate what i do to them lakini umetumia shilingi elf kama kwa hiyo clip mtu amesema kwamba mkitutumia shilingi elf mia moja tunadhani ya kwamba kuna el, kuna milioni mbili enye mebaki kwa account guys if people could be earning that amount of money i don't think kama kuna watu ambao wangekuwa wanafanyanga kazi Uh, even more than six months ungekuwa unatoka nyumbani unaenda kufanya kazi miezi miwili ama miezi tatu if you earning 2.1 million in a month then in two months uko na 2 uko na 4.2 in three months uko na 6 uko na 6.3 million ukirudi nje Kenya na 6.3 million you just do a lot of yani you just do big big things So guys, I want to see at ile wakati amekutumia pesa kuna zile zingine ambazo amebaki nazo nyingi. Hizo pesa zenye amekutumia ndio zake zote. Yeye kwanza anatarajiwa wewe wakati uko nyumbani, hizo pesa ambazo anakutumia mwanzo uitumie vizuri na hata usave. Ama kama hauwezi uka save just invest on, on something so that utakuwa na rahisisha safari yake ya kurudi nyumbani. Lakini unafanya huyu mtu afanye golf kitu kama 10 years 15 years but hata kirudi nyumbani anarudi mikono tu let us value these people itampatia nguvu lakini wewe ukose ku appreciate kwa vile 
amekutumia tuseme amekutumia labda kama 20000 that is everything that is that he or she is earning mahali penye yako usiona kwamba amekutumia 20000 wana kwamba hii pesa ni kidogo inataka na niongeze nyingine 40000 ama niongeze 60000 utakuwa unataka enda toa wapi aibe ama so guys let us learn how to appreciate these people and apart from appreciation wacha hata tuchukue time tujue wanaendelea namna gani If you can one day wake up in the morning and ufungue simu yako upate a text from the people that you value waki text upatake kujua kwamba unaendelea namna gani that thing brightens your day so guys it's not about uh, just tukiwapigia simu tunauliza tu oh tunahitaji kitu fulani tunahitaji pesa ama tunahitaji nini it is more about it's more than that I hope this message itafikia watu ambao wako Kenya however small unaona hiyo pesa kwake it means the world and let us just take it in a positive way oi kuna wengine ambao wanatuma hizo pesa alafu baada ya kutuma hata ukipigiwa simu sio tunapigiwa simu kuambiwa kwamba imefika but unapigiwa simu kutukana unaambia na mbona umetuma pesa kidogo hey guys we are breaking the hearts of these people tunaofanya kwa week kuna wengine hata wanamka asubuhi kama wamechoka wanaumwa lakini na hiyo maumivu watajibeba wajipeleke kazi watafanya hiyo kazi wakiwa wanaumwa kwa sababu mdozo wako hatataka kujua kwamba una feel aje yeye anataka kazi yake itendeke na si ati hata kama utaenda kumwambia kwamba wewe ni mgonjwa ati atakupatia the whole day wenda upumzike maybe atapatia dawa ama atakwambia ndo hospitali na kutoka hospitali anatarajia umeza hizo dawa na urudi kazini kuna zile dawa ambazo ukisha meza una feel yani una feel dizzy uwezi ukafanya chochote but yeye atataka umeza hiyo dawa atakupatia labda 30 minutes peke yake uende ulale and the next uh, after 30 minutes anatarajia urudi kazini uendelee na hiyo kazi so let us take these people positively na tuache kuwapatia burden by the because vitu kama hizo zinaudhi zinaudhi and let us just stop it